Okay, so my phrase for today's project is if you can make a circle, you can make a difference. I'm gonna do a few different varieties and different ways of just a simple circle. The first step I'm gonna do is um, probably more for the younger kiddos, um, just because I'm trying to reach moms and kids um, so we can team together to make beauty. So this is what I'm gonna do right now, except I have a different circle I'm gonna use, a different shape. Actually, that might have been what I used. Okay, so, well, so I've looked around the house. You just look around. This is the bottom of a tea votive, a little tea light candle. This is the bottom of paint, baby jars, sippy cups, anything works. So, without further ado, let's make circles. All right, I'm gonna use what I assume, maybe you shouldn't assume, I think a lot of households have because it's Crayola. I've grown up with them. Crayola, oh, watercolors. It doesn't have to be Crayola because uh, this is really about encouraging others. So I've mixed the water over here to make a little area in which I can place my shape. All right. Just making. And as you do this, this wasn't what I used because if you look, it just has a circle on the outside, which is absolutely okay. We'll go back and fill that in. If you, and I'll show you a different way later. So you just make circles. I think that I'm gonna mix my colors this time. If it doesn't end up looking like mine, that's 100% okay. And you know what? I'm just gonna do it different than I did last time. We're just gonna make the same color circle. similar. Now what you can do here is limitless. You can fill it in later with crayon if you let it dry first. I'm not. This is just to kind of help kids get over the fear of making a circle. And if theirs doesn't turn out like they like, or even if you're someone like me that loves painting, even if it's just circles, um, even if it doesn't look like what you want, it'll be perfectly imperfect. So on this one, I had a circle that was flat on the bottom. It was the lid to something. And so what I did is I just covered it with paint. You can either put it straight on. I covered it with paint and so it made a complete circle. You can kind of see here how when I pulled up, it did that. Uh, so let's just quickly go in and fill these in and just kind of have fun. And I'm gonna kind of bounce around with the color I have on here so there's different colors next to each one. You don't have to fill it completely in if you don't want to, that's okay too. Now I'm gonna start adding water. And obviously anyone, so many people could just do this, right? But part of it is it's relaxing. And I think that whenever I create, I'm reminded about how much God loves me and how he creates me or he's fashioned me in a wonderful way. We're gonna have to spruce this one up later because it's gonna be pretty simple. He's made us each in a wonderful, amazing way. And I like to just rest in his love when I create. And so this is totally different what I expected, which is what art's about. It's kind of about letting go. <laughs> and so what I'm gonna do here is when you have watercolor that's wet, you can sprinkle salt on it and it kind of does a cool effect. It's probably gonna be hard to see without causing the paint to run. But when it's, when, when it's not a puddly pool of water, you can sprinkle these on. Well, actually, let's just sprinkle them everywhere. It will cause a cool effect later I'm gonna do it whether it's puddly or not. The bottom line is you just don't want it to be dry. 
All right, so I'm gonna move this this way and work on something else. All right, so basic household supplies. You have circles everywhere. Anyone can make a circle and it's just fun. <laughs> so here I found the bottom of a, or actually, let's, I'm gonna show you this one. The bottom of this would just make the circle because it kind of curves in. This is a flat top, so I'm gonna use this. Now here I have a variety of watercolor paints that came from a tube. They're different brands, I'm kind of experimenting. This is a cheaper brand. I was just gonna see what the difference is with the expensive and the cheaper. Well, that's cheaper. And I'm not quite sure what that's gonna do, but I definitely wouldn't wanna use that if I'm doing my illustrations. I know it's too cheap of a brand. Um, I can see the difference in quality, but just so you know, that's what you might get if you buy like a three or four dollar tube. Sorry, Artist Loft, but it is an Artist Loft brand, brand that did this. Uh, so, let's just go ahead and you take your paint. I'm gonna start with, oh, I need to rinse my brush. There's some color in it. I'm gonna start with this one because I think it's pretty. It's kind of an iridescent color. And, oh, this is the flat top right here. So I'm just gonna do. I didn't want to add too much water because otherwise it'll just slip off the plastic. Now, there you go. So once you have your basic shape, you can just fill it in. Okay, now I'm gonna do another one next to it. This will end up maybe looking more like the square cards I've made. And I'm not gonna worry about wiping it off partly because of time, partly because sometimes cool things happen. I'm gonna to go to a bright blue. And I'm stay, staying in a similar color palette. If you don't end up being a straight line, that's fine. One of the things that really helped me as I was starting to paint again when I was younger and I didn't, I just didn't have the confidence, was a quote, there's a limit to perfection, or actually it's a scripture, there's a limit to perfection, but God's word is boundless. So at those points that I was afraid of it not looking like I wanted, I would remember that I was just gonna encourage someone and that was what held the power. I often would use a scripture. So if you're not a believer, uh, you could just simply see it or believe in, in Christ, which is the center of who I am. And I would love to tell you more if you message me. So there's a limit to perfection, but love is boundless. There's no limit with love of what something can do. Love is powerful. And everybody needs encouragement. All right, so there I see that it I didn't press down as much as I wanted to, so I'm gonna just go in and fill in. And even if I left it blank, we'll make this mixed media later. So, um, yeah, don't worry about being perfect. Have fun, enjoy the process. I'm gonna show a few techniques. And let's see, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna mix, or put a, next to the color that's still on my lid and art is a lot about playing just have fun okay that's darker than I wanted my first response is that I'm not crazy about it but I'm gonna go in and this is something beautiful about watercolor. I've got my brush clean and we've got water in here. And then the colors are gonna kind of come together. And I might find out I really love how it looks in the end. And I'm also trying to use a little bit 
of the same colors like here. I have green, here I have green. Later I'll bring the other colors in. Okay. Now I'm just gonna process out loud. There's a part of me that goes, here, what am I offering to someone? All I'm doing is, um, <laughs> um, painting with circles. But I think that's a, a tactic the enemy uses all the time to slow us down and stop us. So you just keep going. You know, maybe it's not circles you like to do. Maybe it's squares. Find squares around the house. And usually partway through a process within an artwork, I start to doubt um, its, sur its significance and its worth. And I think, what am I doing? <laughs> uh, this is just, you know, meaningless, purposeless. But that's when you want to keep going. And I kind of come to a place where I kind of stubborn and I won't let myself throw things out. Okay, I'm gonna do something here to show you a technique. Now, as it dries, it should fill in those little cracks. I might need a darker color. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle salt on that one. I'm not getting the effect I want. See, I definitely want to have some holes in here somewhere. So I'm thinking, do I want it here? Do I want it here? Hmm. Choices, choices. Okay. Sorry, I'm cleaning off my bit there. That's my little issue here. I am going to go ahead and add, start adding gold. And then to pull it together later, I will add gold in different ways. All right. This is what I'm using. It's from Walmart. It's cheap <laughs> as far as art supplies are concerned. And it's also kind of magical at the same time. I like this paint. I have some watercolor uh, gold that I used the other day and I really like this one better. take the brush, the paint that's on my brush, and I'm going to bring a little gold down here. I don't like to really waste the gold when I have it. I love it. I think it's beautiful. So one of the elements of art is pattern, texture, so you can get that different ways. I'm gonna clean my brush off. You can do it by hand, making those little dots. Right now we're focused more on texture. Um, I am going to put some on here. This little sponge. But first I'm gonna try to spread it out. Bye. There you go. And turn it at different angles. This has a lot more texture than the other ones I've done before. So I may end up going with that. 
I'm trying to add the texture in different ways. Okay, I um, am thinking just to make it different, I'm gonna take a piece of paper later and cut that out and put it there. Or I'm just gonna do it by hand. Because I want to have something different on the top. Okay, one of those moments where I'm not liking what I did. But I'm gonna go with it. And maybe that's just a reminder that there's beauty and imperfection. All right, so that's simple enough. We have that. I wanna let you, um, I'm gonna put these to the side and then do something in a little bit and then let them dry. All right, I'm gonna show you the paper I'm working with. I like watercolor paper, uh, or you should use watercolor paper when working with watercolor because uh, it doesn't, it just has a much more beautiful effect. Um, you could use cardstock if that's all you have, but this is what I have. I'll put it on my You Are Created to Create Supplies on Facebook, and so it's cold press, and it's 140 pound. Really just look for watercolor but this is what I'm going to use now. We're going to go to using some bigger circles. And we're going to work on that effect I tried to show you a little while ago. Well, you know what? Yeah, I'm just going to do this way. Play, play, play. Just have fun. All right, experiment, go with what comes to your mind. Okay. Oh. Sometimes it's fun to just have different colors next to each other, not to completely mix them. I kind of like it. it has that little crazy line right there. This one I'm gonna make lighter, just use what's on my paintbrush. Um, I love this song, Gloria, it's a beautiful song. I wish I could crash like the Thunder. Oh, I like the summer rain. Okay. I'm going to try this again. I think as it dries. You'll see it more. I might see it to show you. So this is just kind of a cool texture. And if you're doing this as a little activity with your child, your toddler, then I'm sure they would love to scrape the paper and you can hold the sides. Okay, so we've got that. Also, when you use, um, you spray water, when it's not quite dry in places, I've got some of those areas gone here. You don't want it wet. I'm gonna use Mr. I can see looking that it landed here where it looks like it's dry, but I know because I just did it, it's not too dry. And then over here, it may not show up on this one as well. Okay, so I'm gonna put those to the side and I'm gonna go on to one that I started the other day. Uh, and just kind of show you some of the supplies I used. So I love mixed media. Um, I've used all sorts of different things, just products in the last few days. This is one of my favorite stickles. And I have those on my Facebook page. 
supply page. Oh, that's the same one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add some little dots and dashes and pen marks. Oh, and then we have these, these little jelly rolls. A lot of people know what those are. Okay. I did ahead of time add uh, this right here, that really glittery, let's see if you can see. There's a difference in the different golds I use, so that is this right here. It's paint I put on top. I've used this gold leaf marker and just different golds like this gold that I showed you. Okay, so I'm just going to go with it and I kind of look for the pet things that are already there. Or in this one, I'm going to create some things. So along the lines of circles, I'm just gonna make different circles. I think I might even leave a little spot open for a word. Okay, and then I'll go back later maybe with some glitter, put glitter dots in there. I try not to think too hard when I'm creating because it only frustrates me and causes me to doubt myself. Okay, so element of art. One of them is shape, one is color. We've got color here. The bright colors stand out the most. And then pattern. So let's see, where do I wanna put that? I'm gonna imagine where I'm gonna write things. I think I'm just gonna So anytime you have a repeated line or design, pattern. I don't want it to look too perfect, so I'm doing it kind of lightly. And obviously I could do a lot more detail there. And I'm gonna come up here, kind of add to where I already had little circles in there. No, there's just no right or wrong. It's just having fun. I'm going to go ahead. I love, love, love these glitters. I must have gotten this one in clearance somewhere. Okay. So I also want to use a color that I've used one place somewhere else. So these are similar. So I'm going to come up here. So this one is Peacock, that's a pretty name. And then let's see, I think I'm gonna go with this one because it's similar to this. I don't know if you can tell when you're looking, but I definitely was perfectly imperfect here. I will probably throughout all my videos tell you every moment when I'm going, oh, I don't like what I did. This is one of them, but that's okay. Uh, there's a limit to perfection, but encouragement is boundless. We're gonna switch that up a bit. So I'm gonna leave this somewhere to encourage someone. Okay, so as I see it, and I'm determined not to have the mentality of I made a mistake, I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna add some of this gold. This one's getting low. Sometimes at Hobby Lobby, you can find these uh, in packets of three. It's not always the three colors you want, but you can find them in packets of three and get your, you know, use your 40% off coupon. So, this is so relaxing too. Okay. And let's see. Hmm. I like the difference of these three different golds on here. There's a gold paint, there's the gold pen that I showed you, the gold leaf pen. If you don't always just do a completely straight line on things and they're not completely finished, it has a lighter 
effect to it. And let's see, the gold I think really pulls it together. So I'm gonna add a little gold here. gold right here and um, as I'm adding gold in each of these circles that is now in the art unity brings unity when there's a repeated color or pattern through it so I like how light this one is in the middle so I'm barely gonna put I'm just gonna put little dots and if it doesn't come out I'm Putting very little pressure. If it doesn't come out, then that's okay. I don't know if you can see how it comes together this way. So you've got the gold. Now what I may do uh, is, once it's dried, I may put something, once I decide what words to put, I'll put gold right here, because maybe I'll even use this. You have to be used to using these to be able to write with them, but I might put a word in gold, with gold here. And I just love these circles. Uh, they're peaceful, they're calming. It reminds me of God's promise um, to us. It's like a ring, um, hope. And just have fun making circles. I hope in some way this inspired you or gave you some ideas. And yeah, go light your world with God's love kindness and make a circle of hope.